Let's talk a little bit about this debit card and the features. Uh, why should a parent choose that over a typical debit card? Think of it as like four accounts kind of all built into one. So it's not just a spending debit card, but it has parental controls so the parents can choose how much the kids can spend and where like they can spend it. Like 50 bucks a week or? Yeah, that kind of thing. Or um, here's $10 for Chipotle, here's yeah. $50 for Target. Then it has a savings account built in there as well, a giving account. And then also it allows you to track chores and automate allowances as well. So how do you actually teach kids about investing, about saving, about, uh, I guess, waiting for instant, not getting instant gratification? Yeah. Essentially by giving them uh, money, whether they're earning through an allowances or a job or anything like that, they have to make these trade-off decisions. So they have to decide, now it's real money, it's their money, they have to decide, do I spend this and buy this game or this thing that they're thinking about buying, or do I hold off and maybe buy the bigger thing, better thing that I want later? There's a feature called a parent paid interest rate, and so the parent can set that at like 50% or 100% or, you know, to kind on of... On an annualized basis or a weekly basis? Yeah, or how does it a, work? Like, uh, it's like an APY. Because so. I, I do it with my kid on a weekly yeah, basis. If that's you right. haven't spent your money, I'll give you interest on that next week. Th that's exactly it. Yeah. That's exactly it. Uh, so I have it set at 12%, so it's like 1% a month. Um, but, <laughs> We're but, not going to teach them what it's really like in the real world. You exactly, get 1%. Exactly. Um, but what, what it does do is it allows you to kind of exaggerate the point to make the point. What's the ideal age? What, what age do you consider being the right time to give a kid a card like Right this? around 12. Uh, middle school, 12, 13, right around there. Okay. They're starting to spend some time away from their parents and the parents will have a need to be able to give them money and it's quite convenient to just be able to go tap, tap and they have $20 to spend at uh, Chick-fil-A or wherever it might be. You're charging $5 a month. Is that a little high when you consider most banks offer free checking, free savings? Well, there's, the, you know, the devil's always in the details. So, um, you know, sometimes a minimum balance is required and there might be a maintenance fee that you're charged if you don't maintain that balance at a, at a bank account. Uh, and so we tried to massively simplify things and have no hidden fees mm -hmm. and just say it's $5 a month you can have uh, both parents and up to five kids on there. Hmm. And, and, for, there's for no, the same $5? and there's no other fees for the same $5.